In my view, the issue that we are discussing today is of monumental importance. Uh, and while it may be controversial within the halls of the United States Congress, uh, I have the feeling that the more the American people understand this concept, uh, the more support that there will be. And I think it's fair for me to tell you that uh, I do not expect the legislation that we'll be discussing today to be passed tomorrow or in the next few months. For the United States Congress, this is a fairly radical piece of legislation. We have many billions of dollars of opposition that will be out there from drug companies and, and other sources. But I believe from the bottom of my heart that this issue is so important uh, that discussion has got to begin as soon as possible, and that's what we're go doing today. So the ideas that people may be hearing on C-SPAN today may sound fairly radical. In a few years, they're not, because I think what we're talking about is absolutely commonsensical, and it's absolutely in the best interests of the people of our country and people throughout the world. Now, to me, one of the great moral issues of our day is that there are people in our country suffering and in some cases dying because they are not able to afford a medicine that can be purchased for pennies per treatment. In other words, it is one thing, and I think we can all understand this. If somebody has an illness that is unable to be treated, we don't know how to treat it, that death, that death is a tragedy. But it is a different type of tra tragedy. It is a needless tragedy, tragedy when somebody dies because they can't pay a few pennies for a drug that is out there that can cure them and ease their suffering. And that's what we're talking about today. I should, should begin by saying that the approach taken by the bill is exactly right. I will not spend time reiterating the seriousness of the HIV AIDS problem, both in America and around the world. Medicines have made enormous progress in prolonging lives and alleviating some of these costs and suffering, and further research promises even bigger dividends. The problem is that the medicines are very costly, or more accurately, the price charged for them is very high, though the cost of production is but a fraction of the, char of the price charged, the point that the Senator made uh, earlier uh, that the cost of production is less than 1% of the price charged. Finally, let me just make one final comment about the, this, this hearing and, and your bill. Um, I've spent the last five years of my career working on the cynical story of Congress, uh, and the cynical story of Congress would predict that such a bill and such a hearing would never occur. Uh, and indeed, uh, it's not surprising that we have a uh, bill with one senator in, uh, uh, sponsoring it and a hearing with no senator except the sponsor present. So when Jamie asked me to come, my initial reaction was, why waste my time? But I think it's extremely important, and I commend you, Senator, to give America a conception of how legislation could occur where it was sense and not campaign dollars that drove the bottom line of what Congress did. So I thank you for the opportunity to fling myself down here for this purpose, at least, and I, and I strongly support the innovation you're trying to add to this field. Thank you. Uh, I am more than aware that there is only one name on the piece of legislation. and I'm also more than aware that I have been the only senator uh, at this uh, hearing today. Uh, but I believe, and I think you will all agree with me, that the time is long overdue for us to place that flag down um, and to move forward vigorously in a concept that can save millions of lives around the world, that could open up huge vistas of new research and development uh, and make our health system much stronger and much more cost effective. All of us, nobody here is naive. We know the obstacles that stand in front of us. We know the very, very powerful special interest that spends huge amounts of money on lobbying and campaign contributions uh, who do not want us to proceed. But I think we have an idea that as a result of the work all of you are doing in your separate areas, it is an idea that is spreading, not only in this country, but around the world. And I think as more and more people learn about what we together are trying to do, uh, the day in which legislation like this is passed will come sooner. And when it comes sooner, it will be of profound importance to people in our country and around the world.